Hey guys, welcome back to Choose Your Own Path. It is 6 a.m. 6.30. 6.35. No clue. It's early. Um, it's felt like crap, so I had to get up. Yeah. What are you going to do? Anyway, today's project. Now, uh, it took me a day to do this, and honest to God, or whoever you want to believe in, I think this is one of the best fish I've carved yet so far. I mean, I do love the big bass in the back. Um, but here we go. This took me a day. Now, I have the time to back and forth, come in and do stuff because of my condition. I'm not at work and stuff like that. So, unfortunately, because I'm, I'm, I'm disabled. Not that kind of disabled. I'm hard disabled. So, I can come back and forth and do stuff. Now, um, I have to give him a shout out, but I can't remember his Instagram. It's Chuck something. Chuck, Chuck can, Chuck Bates, Chuck can carve. I'll have to figure it out. Um, he had a walleye, very beautiful. I'm going to put a picture of his walleye up. Way better than mine. This guy's really good. Um, and he posted, and I asked him if he had a pattern. He said, yes. I asked him if I could, if I could have it, if or he'd share it. He didn't directly answer me, but all of a sudden I saw it on um, on Instagram, and I'm assuming that means yes. I mean, he didn't answer me, so I hope he, he's okay with this. Chuck, maybe. Um, anyway, so this is his pattern. Fins off, everything. Nice thing is, is he gave me the back and the forth, or back and forth, the, uh, the bottom and the top. Now, um, when you print stuff like this off of other people, when you you know, take a screenshot or however you get it. If you're not happy with the size of it, you can always, you know, get, so I got one of those little projectors or whatever, or I, my eyes, um, as much as I can't see, I can see. So what I did was, now you could see the size difference between this, this is what I printed, and this is what I made. So there you go. I just made it a bit fatter, whatever, works good. Um, I got morning burps. Um, cedar, two pieces of cedar, uh, two by sixes, I think they were, glued together the night before, traced out, threw on the bandsaw uh, with the new rigid sander, oscillating sander. You check out my videos somewhere there, whatever, go back to them, whatever. I did 99% of it with this. Then to the cut salt tools uh, to, you know, shape it out better. Then again, uh, you know, I was thinking, oh, scaling pattern. I mean, fins, yeah, I always tell you guys, I'm not showing you how to make fins because I am not the guy to do it. I don't think they look great. I think they're okay for me, but there are a lot of pe better people who make them. Again, I'm always going to give him a shout out because he's really good. He's n he's not new, but he knows what he's doing and he's really good at it. Danny Harris, please check out his YouTube channel. You're going to love it. He's, he's got some good shit and he shows you a lot of stuff. No teeth in this guy because he's he's got his mouth, you know, was a quarter open, whatever. Scaling. Let's talk about scaling. You can use uh, your razor tip if you have the right scaling. I don't have any yet, and maybe one day I'll start making them better. But I mean, like I said, it's gonna get cold. It's freaking cold here today. It's probably like six degrees. That's Celsius. Oof. Makes I make my own punches. I said this before. Here we go. It's a scale punch. This is a, uh, what did I say it was? It's a half inch scale, half inch scale punch. Put it on, hit it with the hammer, do each one. Takes less time for me to do this than it is to burn. Um, it's a little bit odd because you see this, this is crazy glue. I snapped off the, the, the back fin because it's very thin. Problem with it is uh, if you don't have something, you know, solid enough um, to sit on, when you're doing it, it'll turn me, you know, it'll sort of fuck up, whatever, my own problem. Um, that's just marker, because I'm doing the fins, you can see I just took a razor tip tool, and I cut in what I like to use, and I'm going to show you right now. I like to use that guy, he's got some nice teeth, and I like to get in there, it does me well. So, yeah, that's what that is. So, now, um, I also, oh, I want to show you. I also, if you can see that, I'm gonna get my little pointer out. <laughs> right there. That's a nail. And I 
99% of the times I put the I put a nail, I drill a hole through the fin, like I hold it up, I drill a hole through, I put some glue in there, and then I put a little nail and I tap it in there. Why do I do that? Richard, why do you do this? Well, you know what? I find that these two son of a bitches are the hardest to keep up when it comes up to um, gluing. Like, I mean, you know, you can put little clamps on it. I don't like it because I get that. I get the look of what I want. You know, how it's what a nice curve to it. I, the pattern, especially when, when you get a bottom pattern and you know, it's weird. But anyway, you can see the curve to it. You can make out your own curve. That tool, that orange little pumpkin back there, that red rigid. Okay, I'm not telling you, I'm not promoting, I, you know, they don't pay me to say this, but go buy it. If you want to make stuff like this or fishing lures, unbelievable how that changed the game. Like, okay, I'm going to show you. These are, these are done. They're dry. And they are made, I mean, yeah, we could do it by hand. We could carve them. We can use the power machines. Make it a little step early. easier for me because I like to get things done today, not you know, fucking two weeks from now. That's my thing. Okay, there we go. See that? I got two of them. My buddy asked me, Which one uh, did you buy? Which one's the real one? I'm like, Come on, you serious? He goes, Yeah, he says they look good. Well, obviously, this one has a you know, a fat door lip, and this one is whatever, but he was uh, he was impressed. Now, I wish I could find some more eyes or make more eyes. That's something I gotta, you know, work on. Like, this guy needs eyes. You're not gonna get one without him. Maybe I'll go for a ride. I gotta go that way. Anyway, maybe I'll go buy some cheap ones again. Took him off of, again, I showed you guys, I took him off of this guy. He rattles pretty good. He has a little bit of rattle. He has a lot of rattle. I might be on to something with these guys. I don't know. You let me know what you think. It's cold in here. What am I doing? I'm just chatting with you. Two things we gotta do, burn them. Bought myself a new top for this. Works great. So, I'm gonna turn it on, give me some heat. Just a little bit of a blue flame. Let's bring out, oh, sorry, I sanded it already. Look, we're gonna bring out our fish. Now again, I don't have eyes for this guy, so I don't know what I'm gonna do. Um, I could make my own, whatever. But look at that. That just pops everything out. You can see. Brand new tape. Um, this also gets a little fuzzies out. And we're going to cover this with gesso. Just a light coating, just to protect it, sort of seal it. You know, one of those kind of things. But I think this is one of my best fish yet so far. Could be wrong. Well, big shout out to everybody that you know comments on my site. Um, you know, I'm very positive. I haven't had very many. Because you know, one of the assholes that used to be on my site is gone. I don't use. I don't. It's been a while. <laughs> I won't give out names. But, you know, ever since he's been gone. Um, really positive. Just, you want to seal your stuff with epoxy? Do it. You want to listen to guys who say don't do it and then go and do it like hypocrites? He knows who he is. Jackass. Anyway, let's not dwell on the past. It's been a long, been a long time. This is the crazy who's starting on fire so you have to be a little bit Let's talk about us that's the most important you guys who are subscribers you guys who are followers uh for the channel you guys who are asking questions uh you guys who are giving out information content you know that you're helping out the channel by donating uh well, we have to to that, but that's okay um you know you guys who are there giving information out information that helps me and that i could transfer back to you to you guys is what it's all about you know some of these guys that uh you know that that comment on my my channel don't have youtube channels i don't know why they don't these guys are like well probably as a time thing a lot of people don't like to be in front of the camera you know it's just the way it is you, know, you don't have to be 
you know, wanting that attention like me. I don't want attention. I just like to talk. I just like to talk and I like to have people listen if I'm doing well. And I like information sent back to me. Don't you, don't forget that. It's not all about, I'm not about me. I'm about you guys. It's about the people. All right. I think I'm good with that. Just a quick, easy shut off and burn. I like this little guy. I just picked it up. There you go. Gonna let it cool down a couple minutes. Then we're gonna get out the paintbrush. I'll break that. Right. So, added <clears throat> our gesso uh, paint to it. Now, I didn't show you, sorry, but pretty boring. Why do we do this? A couple reasons. Why do I do it? I don't know why everybody else does it. I don't give a fuck. You do what you do, I do what I do. As long as you do, I do, we do, we can all do it, right? Okay. Two big things uh, that I find. One is uh, it seals the wood, okay? So gets into it, penetrates it, keeps it so it doesn't do funny things. <clears throat> Second, paint. Now, in my opinion, probably true, probably not. I don't know. I'm an honest person. When you're putting other colors on it, it has something to grab onto. It just doesn't soak into the wood. This gives it like a barrier whatever you can see got it all little cracks it's still a little bit damp wet paint wise i'm gonna let it dry for a couple minutes but if you put the heat gun to it i don't know i like it i could almost make this into a swim bait eh? imagine something big grabbing onto that man that would just bite <laughs> bite i just said bite all right so yes um get yourself some sort of primer doesn't even have to be primer in my opinion. I don't care if you're doing it on a budget. Get yourself some cheap white paint. Put it on there. Not too thick. You, know, you don't want to lose your details because sometimes paint gets in there, whatever. This stuff here I'm using, again, I showed you guys before. It's called acrylic gesso. It's gesso. So I'm assuming it's good. It's thick though, guys. I'm going to show you here. It's really, really thick. Like, you know, you're trying to pour it. It's like... It's like waiting for molasses to come out with that. But that's okay. You can um, you can water it down, you know, or add something, you know, a reducer to it. You don't have to, but you can. And that's what's going to happen. All right. Another thing I noticed, and this happened last night, you see that split. That's the two pieces of wood that's glued together, all right? Very noticeable. Very noticeable. I'm going to take some uh, wood glue and a little bit of sawdust. I'm going to pack it in there. Get a little bit of a seal going on, you know, make it look good. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to paint today because I have a heart appointment. And then I got to go pick up my wife. She's at the trailer. She's enjoying it last. This is our last week. We have to shut it down. We can still go a couple times. Maybe. Look at this. No here nor there. <laughs> um, so I will probably just leave that as that, as part one. There's always a part two, maybe part three when it comes up to these kind of videos. They do usually take people longer, and if you don't have the time, it will take you longer, but that's it. All right, so um, let's go on for part two. So if I can do it, you can do it. Choose your own path, and uh, hope to see you on the next one.